This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today I'm going to walk you through SSF or surround sound feedback for your virtual pinball cabinet. I will go through everything on how, uh, which speakers you use, how you put them in your cabinets, how I put the amp in my cabinets, how everything's wired uh, from the software to Windows setups to DOF links and so forth. So at the end of this video you will have SSF set up and it is an awesome addition to your cabinet and in my opinion your cabinet is not complete until you have it. couple of these exciters in there'll be one here for the left that's by the buttons that's part of the reason why i put the tv in just so i know where i wanted to place this one towards the back so i am going to do 7.1 surround sound so it kind of you can hear the ball bouncing around the table and all that kind of stuff which i'll show a little bit more later go ahead and uh, put those in now so I have one for the front one for there so you'll have uh the two in the speaker you know the two main speakers and then you'll have these four speakers and I'm gonna go ahead and mount a sub too. I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so real quick here on the bottom, I just went ahead and mounted this little, this little sub. Um, I'm not gonna use that fan hole, so I half covered that up because I wanted it right here close to the edge in the center of the cabinet. All right, so I went ahead and prepped the, uh, the left side here. So exactly like I did the right, so you can see I have the uh, LED in the channel. I have the cam locks for the monitor in the spot I need it. All the other cams in. Uh, these little exciter speakers here So that's all ready to go um, The speakers if you get the light channel cuts, it's going to come with these little braces that'll go in there um, And the reason why is I'm going to want Those are going to stick around. I'm going to stick that on the front um, And then the cables are going to run up through here My speaker obviously is going to go on top um, Again with the cables coming out and then on the front side will be the speaker grills Okay, I'm going to wire everything out here in the tower so you guys can easily see it. And honestly, I'll probably just leave my tower below the unit in the back. It's not like, at least in my setup where I'm going to put this, you won't see it anyhow. And it just makes it easier to get to the computer instead of having to pull the pinball machine away from the wall or whatever. But uh, So again, for the sound. So I have two exciters up in the front, two in the back, a subwoofer here, and my two main speakers there. So on... Um, you need a, a, a motherboard that has the 7.1 output and essentially what I'm going to do is this SS out. I'm going to run that to my front exciters. The CS out is going to run to my subwoofer. The RS out is going to run to my rear exciters. And this main out right here, the main plug, I just unplugged it so you guys can see it, but the main plug right here is going to run into my, um, my standard speakers in my back box. So essentially each one of these three and a half millimeter have a three and a half on each side. I'll have four different amps. I have three amps, you know, one for my main, one for my front, and I label these so if I have to get it, or one for my rear, so if I have to get in here, and one for the front, right? So you'll have, you know, you hook up your two speakers there with the red and the black, and then I'll plug into the MP3 plug right there uh, from there, and then I can adjust the volume on each of these how I want. Um, this is the subwoofer one that I have here that'll run directly into the sub, so it's pretty simple. You just connect the uh, the speakers to each one of the amps for what the amp's going to be used for. And then you'll uh, connect each one of those into here. And then I'll show you later how to set up the sound card. One thing I'll say is you might get some buzz, some interference in these. Um, I bought four of these things and I'll put a link to them in the description. But essentially it intercepts the signal and it pulls all the noise out so there's no humming at all. So I have four of these. So I'm going to run each one of these you know, into it uh, to make sure I don't have any hum. And then what you'll do is once you're playing a table, you'll tweak out all the sound, right? You'll, you'll say, well, I want the main speakers higher. I want the subwoofer lower. I want this and that. And you'll just adjust the volume knobs on these till you get it exactly how you want. And then within software, you can set it, set it up, you know, to turn up and turn down. Uh, you know, like if you have some kind of combo key in order to turn up, turn down. But what I do is I just buy a little, this is just USB. And it's just a, a volume control. I can push it for mute, unpush it for mute, and then turn it up and down. And I actually put that right on the side of my unit near my power button up there in the front left. So that way, when I turn this up and down, it turns the entire system up and down. But all of these still stay at the same levels that I want them. You know, if I want the ball sound rolling higher in the back whenever it's hitting the bumpers or whatever, I can adjust all this out and then do the main one here uh, with that. So that's, that's all there is. Again, I'll show some of the setup in the software to get this to work. 
but it's it's just you're gonna need four amps if you have this kind of setup the little exciters and again I'll, I'll put like an Amazon cart or something together or we'll just sell this as a kit um, with everything you need on the site so you can just check either one and uh, it'll all be there but that's how you hook up uh, for the SSF they call it which is the uh, the surround sound okay so just to show you I have my four amps there I went ahead in the those noise cancelers I mounted those as well just so they're out of the way and then did some wire clean up there and then I have my four plugs there and that wire cleaned up. So I'm trying to hold this up. There's a few cables there that are coming from the front that are part of the lights. I'm holding this up because I haven't cable management this. I'm just talking about the sound at the moment. So four amps uh, for the noise cancelers running into a motherboard that has the 7.1 sound. And then I have the four different amps plugged in right there. Uh, so that's it for sound. It's ready to go. All right, real quick on the sound. So I, I showed you guys how I had the hardware set up. So in the software, you want to go, at least for me, I go to the old school control panel. So just hit, you know, go to search and hit control panel and then go to uh, uh, the hardware and sound and then the sound and it'll pull up and then select your speakers and hit configure. And if you do that, if you have the right driver installed for your motherboard, it should bring this up right here and this is what you want. So I'm going to change it, or I changed it to 7.1, and now I, all I have to do, if I can find my mouse here, is start clicking these and make sure that each one of them's working where I want them on the table. And I'll adjust, and then you also can adjust the sound to get it where you want, but you can see, so these two up at the top are going to be my main speakers. These two right here are going to be the ones by my flippers, and these two are at the back of the cabinet. So I'll have to tweak out how loud I want each one by just turning up that amp, but you can see here in my sub. So there's my sub. So I'll probably do some adjustment to that. There's a little bit of rattle in there. So yeah, go to the old school control panel, hardware and sound, go to sound, pull up the devices, find your standard speakers, hit configure, and then you can test your speakers. And then you can go ahead and make sure that it's set up how you want it set up. Okay, so I have visual pinball here. I'm just going to go into preferences, audio options, make sure you have your primary sound driver selected the correct one that you need and then set this to 7.1 right there. And that'll, that'll turn the 7.1 on uh, for what we worked on for the speakers. So at this point in the video, I wanted to show you guys kind of real world, how I actually put all the speakers in, put the amps in, hooked everything up, talk through that. We have it set up um, in the software as far as windows goes and as far as visual pinball. So at this point, you can open up a visual pinball table, test it out, make sure everything's working, tweak out all the volumes on the different amps, and everything would be good to go. I will link to this uh, guide here because this guide's a little bit more in depth. I just, again, wanted to show kind of real world how I put everything in. Um, the one thing I'll say is if you want to get it to work in your pinup popper front end, if you want to get it to work in Pinball FX3 or Future Pinball, just setting it up how we have it now won't do that. You have to actually pass it through um, a program called Doflinks in order to get the sounds passed to those programs. So if you check out our addressable LED video, which I'll link to, there's an entire section on setting up Doflinks because not only will Doflinks pass the surround sound to those programs, but it'll also pass the lights through. So the setup's basically the same for both. Once you get it working, you'll get both lights or sound whether you don't have the lights or not you'll still get the sound set up so it makes a huge difference in all of your tables um i'll show you here an fx3 table that's that's up just so you can kind of hear some of the sounds with it but just wanted to talk a little bit about this in doff links but again i'll link to that part in that video if you want to get that set up so you can get these additional um these additional programs going i'm going to try to do this one-handed but you could hear that in the table whenever i did that Hopefully it'll hit a bumper or something. But you can hear how, how strong that is uh, on my flippers because the uh, surround sound effects is working. You can hear how the ball dropped in there.